Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Did you miss me? Yeah, I've been under the weather, caught the uh, virus, and have been taking a few days off. I haven't made a video in about five days. Back on Thursday and Friday, there was two earthquakes there in Northern California. I'm sure you all heard about it now. A 5.5 that occurred at 4.20 um, p.m. in the afternoon Thursday. And it was followed by a 5.2 aftershock that occurred on Friday. That one was at, oh, I'd say 3.18 a.m. local time. And I downloaded two different monitors for all the different earthquakes. And people are probably wondering what the heck is going on. Let's take a look at what it's been showing here. Yeah, I got two different monitors. Altogether, so far, uh, there has been 63 earthquakes there at Lake Almador. Lots of light damage has been reported, mostly things thrown out of cupboards. Uh, there hasn't been any reports of gas or water line leakage that I know of, but that doesn't mean that it couldn't happen. Now, these earthquakes have not been far from Mount Lassen Volcanic Center. This is what USGS is showing for the earthquakes. And then we'll come up over here. And this is Mount Lass Lassen. Here's an image of um, LRD for one of the uh, monitors there. I don't know if I can bring this down. There you go. Yeah, we got some data missing. Most of the earthquakes look like they're along a fault line. Um, they're saying it's an unknown fault line. Uh, I'm sure that, yeah, if you connect the dots, yeah, it, they probably known or should have known it was throughout here. But most of the earthquakes have been thrust earthquakes. Lake Amador is located near a junction of three significant geological land masses. The Sierra Nevada, uh, the Modoc Plateau, and the Cascadia. Yeah, subduction zone, which all have a connection to the formation of the Lan Lanson Peak Volcano. This intersection creates the fault zones beneath Lanson Peak, the southernmost most active volcano in the Cascadia Range. Well, let's see if I can find it here. Okay, let's do uh, right there. Okay. Mount Lassen is known for hydrothermal sites, you know, heat coming up from the volcano. And the area does have a relatively thin crust. And, you know, it, they've had minor and major earthquakes. As you know, earthquakes can create the cracks, which can cause or, or create pathways for magma to come up. While major earthquakes typically don't create lava flows in this area but you do get a lot of shaking lake amador's tectonic structure is dominated by two primary fault zones the northwest trending uh tahoe mohawk valley Las lesson sorry i'm all tongue-tied today and the north south trending hat creek lake amador fault zones remember when we were um or they were having all the earthquakes there in Tahoe. These zones intersect there at Lake Amador, creating a basin that forms the lake. In 2013, on the Mohawk Fault Zone, there was a magnitude 5.7 earthquake that created substantial damage. This fault is also known to potentially generate an earthquake between a magnitude 6 or seven earthquakes so you should be aware that you could have that here too that's right you have the potential of having a magnitude seven or even greater earthquake in this location so theoretically if they have an earthquake of a size of larger than a magnitude seven it could possibly trigger uh, mount lassen to erupt but they just don't know being the case if there's any earthquakes along 
the Cascadia subduction zone of a magnitude 7 or greater, that would mean that many of the uh, volcanoes along um, yeah, the Cascadia subduction zone, those could erupt also during a large earthquake. And as you know, they recently admitted that they found a methane seep off the uh, coast of Oregon. Uh, let's bring this out here. Um, they only discovered it back in 2015. Only recently this last year told us about this methane seep. But um, new research shows it's been leaking for probably a thousand, um, a thousand five hundred years. It's about 50 miles off the coast of Oregon. Yeah, it makes you wonder if that's the reason why they uh, closed down the uh, shipbuilding docks in this area. Has it become more active? I don't know. Do you trust them to tell the truth? No, I don't. <laughs> do you? You can do a Google search for Pythias Oasis. And it actually says it was discovered in 2014. How long is this seep that's creating these uh, gases, uh, methane, to come up? I really don't know. That's probably up for debate. But let's go back over here to these recent earthquakes down by Mount Lassen. More than likely, it's being caused by mountain building, um, the movement of the tectonic plates, so the North American plate slowly moving uh, a little bit um, southwest. And we have seen an increase of earthquakes. Yeah, um, earthquakes that you're not supposed to have earthquakes. Yeah, intercontinent earthquakes, such as along the East Coast in Georgia. I believe that was one of my last earthquakes before I took some time off, off to uh, get some rest. So I didn't get, you know, deadly ill. And as you know, as the Earth's magnetic field weakens, and as our Earth core heats up, we're going to see more and more of these earthquakes. Now, if you have start seeing some sevens, yeah, be aware that other volcanoes could erupt. They could cause them. Or, yeah, even um, Yellowstone and other parts of the world. Yeah, the earthquakes are probably going to continue in this location. Then I thought about all that snow that's melting, um, creating more weight on the lake. Um, that could cause earthquakes also. What are your thoughts about that? But most of them have been looking like uh, thrust earthquakes and most of them have been pretty shallow you can see here we got 0 0.8 miles this is minus now when it says minus that means it's above sea levels all earthquakes are measured from sea level so we got 0 0.8 um, 0 0.6 this one does not have a minus but let's go down to where the earthquakes first started and Let's see here. There was actually only three that were fairly deep. The 5.5. Now that was 3.6 miles in depth. And then, um, let's see. There was a 2.4. That was 3.9 miles in depth. Let's see. We got one that's 4.6. That was a small one. A 2.7. Let's see. Where's the other one at? Because there was two that were magnitude fives. I don't see it on here. The 5.2, 1,339 people said they felt that one. Um, USGS gave it an intensity level of six. And then the 5.5, uh, 6,994 people reported Lee felt that one. Yeah, it was felt over a very large area. What kind of damage did you have? Yeah, let's see here. Yeah, all the way up into Oregon. We got Salem. Let's see, all the way down. Let's see. Yeah, it's Lake Tahoe. Um, Los Angeles, San Diego. Yeah, it was felt over a very large area. What kind of damage did you have? And like I said, you're going to have more aftershocks. They're going to continue. Doesn't mean the larger ones are done. A reminder of earthquakes 
that can happen at any time and you should be prepared. Yeah, maybe with all the aftershocks that are going on it would be a good idea to put um, safety locks on your cupboards so you don't have to keep replacing all your uh, glassware and yeah, different things like that. So it's good to be back. Thank you very much for watching. Always be safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye. Thank you.